What's up, guys? Boy, Patty Trills, a.k.a. Young Johnny Bravo, a.k.a. Young Captain America, a.k.a. Coach of your Sin City Scissors for Season 6 of the WBE Singles because I can't play VGC to save my life. Or singles, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, so Season 6, we give you guys the draft analysis. The entire WBE draft was public, and I so I just thought I'd do my draft analysis now. Uh, just kind of explain when I picked what I picked. How it, would, how it went down, how I feel about the team. I mean, it's not the first draft analysis I've done, so this shouldn't be a surprise that I'm doing one. So, if you guys are excited to show your support, smash that like button, support is appreciate it. Definitely check all links in the description down below, Twitter, Twitch merchandise, if you're into that. And with that being said, let's get on. Let's just jump into it. So, uh, round one, yeah, we're jumping into this. So, round one pick, I think it was... Seven, I think it was seventh again. So it made me seventh and ninth because it was snake format. So round one, pick seven. Um, we go Necrozma, which Necrozma. This is obviously post, um, post DLC. So Necrozma joining into the meta is stupid. Um, it's stupid good. It has a great move pool. Its ability makes it super thick. Um, D dance makes it now like a, an insane physical sweeper. If you want to, it can put up hazards if it wants to. You set up with a calm mindset if you want to go that route you know you can just be mad thick and go like toxic recover I mean, like you could you'd be fat you just be fat um so i think necrozma is such a really good mon to build around and also a good mon that could really just take over if it needs to um so especially with items like this makes this mon insanely stupid good and uh i'm kind of glad i got it obviously wasn't the best uh tier like it wasn't the number one pick like if i was round one pick one i wouldn't say i'd pick this necessarily but i'm saying for the position i was for seventh i think that's a dub i think that's uh, i think that's a clean dub imo so uh round two which uh the way um these drafts went was um you could pick any tiers in any order but you're only limited to the amount of tier picks that we have so obviously i have one tier one one tier two two tier threes three tier fours three tier fives um so 12 mons in total so this is uh how it went down so if you i didn't really go top to bottom because i wanted to snag some i think some point like some well valued mons for good prices early and not have them get sniped later in the draft. So the reason why I said this is because even though I'm not good at competitive, I do think there were some mons that were tiered incorrectly, and I took advantage of that. Like, for example, our second pick in our tier four. Tier four. Ew. Mian Xiao. It should have been tier three, IMO. Um, but Mian Xiao with Regenerator, it's speed tier, literally one of the best dark, like, like wall breakers now, like a wall breaker for dark types, uh, or against dark types is what I mean. Um, pivot, you know, it has priority. Like, it's such a good mod, and I think it pairs really well with Necrozma since it's so hyper offensive, and also covers like one of Necrozma's like main weaknesses. And I thought for tier four, I was like, yeah. I'm not really too worried about tier two picks because there's a lot of them. So I can grab that later, you know, like after I kind of round out what I want to go with. And I just thought me and Chow was way too free. And I felt like you were to wait to actually get to tier four. The people who didn't have fighting types would snag that one immediately because just like this offensive usage and pivot it has, you know. So anyways, now we're going back on schedule with pick three. We go a uh, melodic or milotic, depending how you want to pronunciate it. Um, this mod is obviously dumb thick, uh, super good, like to be a cleric, you know, it has recover, you can scald burn, you can toxic, it gets, you know, not, uh, is it marble skill? If it's, you know, has a status ailment, 50% uh, defenses. It's just, I mean, it's a great mod. It's, I don't know what tier it is in Gen 8, but like, obviously it's been like U U R U like comfortably mostly you you nine out of ten times you know what i mean well it's just a great mon super thick i think it's really good i think it kind of helps with necrozma uh so it doesn't have to be like so necrozma doesn't always have to be a designated wall or like a mon that's a little stally 
Um, so I thought that's really nice because we are playing on land. So we have the battles can be a little bit longer than 20 minutes. So hopefully it doesn't go to timer. Um, so our next pick, I then went straight to Incineroar. I think the Intimidate core uh, with it now is super good. I think it also having an option to be super bulky helps with Necrozma and Milotic not having to take those roles like every single time. Because we last time I was in the WB, I used Incineroar and... Incineroar is so clutch and it's such a good mon and literally is the reason why it's my favorite fire starter now like the Incineroar line is so heat but um so I got him just cause, like I said intimidates really good the fire dark type it's Mupu is super good it can run AV it can run Rocky helmet you can run left you know you can run whatever whatever item you want there's so many options with Incineroar that makes it so good also with priority with like fake out and stuff like that it's just like I think like the Necrozma Milo take Incineroar, like that kind of defensive core going on um, is super nice. So after that, I thought, you know, maybe we should start being a little bit more offensive and start picking up, you know, maybe some more threats. So the next pick that I went was, uh, no, after this, my bad. Because Savali here, <laughs> after this pick. So my tier two, the reason why I went with Savali was because... Um, Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna have to double check. I have to actually have to ask. Um, I think I can just use Savali as I as I please. So it can be any typing I want it to be. You know, in any game for one. And then uh, secondly, uh, I mean, parting shot super good. Like it's good on pivot. You know, it's tanky as well. It can hit decently hard depending on its typing. It can become like an actual threat uh, for certain mons. Such a great tier two pick and i think it literally rounds like my fir like these first five picks are hitters i feel like this is such a strong like starting five of picks that i got and i think the next like seven i really round out this team i, I really do think my team like on paper doesn't look super scary but it's like a dark horse team like i feel like to put in the sports references because obviously it's all like fucking do uh i'm like the miami heat right now or like the the houston rockets it's kind of scary on paper like low key but anyway so with the next pick this is what i was thinking about good old ronald reagan look at my boy braveyard yeah america so uh bronald reagan here uh which i'm using in the bbr which you guys should be watching those battles because those battles are lit uh, that's the other league that I'm in. So if you want to see double league content from the WB viewers who are probably coming back to watch this, I'm in another league. So if you want to see me battle people because people like my commentary and stuff, go do that. Um, but with this, with Bravery, uh, I already have um, Savali with Defog. And I think I have another Defogger somewhere. I'm trying to remember who. I don't know if I picked, showed the pick yet. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, so we can still use Bravery for Defog. Even though now I don't really have to because... Unlike in the BBR, I have other options. Um, and it's super hyper offensive. You know, it just hits dummy hard. 80 speed is nothing to, you know, sniff at either. Like, you can actually use it pretty effectively. And I think for a tier 4, that's pretty solid too. Like, I don't think it's tier 3 status, but it's like Hall of Very Good tier 4. Um, and I think for, like, the value that for Braviary is, is very much worth it. I think it puts another very hard-hitting physical attacker on my team. Which is important. And I think... Oh, all right, here, yeah. So I jumped straight to tier 5, right? Because I realized Weezing, a defensive fucking unit, is in tier 5. Which I need a poison type for one. So I can handle, like, fairies and stuff. And, like, another... You know, like, uh, another... Uh, cleric... Like, not cleric. Um, utility. With, like, you know, Willow and Toxic and stuff like that. So it's not forced to, like, some of the mons that are. So you can pick up that roll and be very pivot based and have the other mons be hyper offensive if, if need be um, also a great physical wall like wheezing we all know like bro sponges hits bro like bro just eats shits like nothing's wrong so i just feel like for tier five it could have been tier four honestly i could understand the tier four nothing higher than tier four but for a tier five like that's a snack i think Two out of my tier fives are like very good picks, like value wise. Um, so yeah, it's wheezing. We already know what wheezing be doing. 
So the next one, we go straight to Pharaoh Seed. And with Pharaoh Seed, which this isn't the one, I think Pharaoh Seed is worth tier five. Um, with Pharaoh Seed obviously being super thick with Eviolite, can has a stack like crazy with rocks, spikes, leech seed, you know, t you know, I can even T wave people like Pharaoh C, like I said, can be the can do the exact same thing that Weezing's doing as taking a lot of the defensive and like utility based needs for the team and letting the other mods that would usually take those roles to set things up like that to be hyper offensive and allow them to really like go into it. And I think with Weezing, Pharaoh Seed, and Necrozma, I just rounded out like my hazard stacking tenfold. Like galaxy brain plays are happening here. <laughs> Not really. I'm just I'm just picking mods. Even even at that, because like my buddy uh was helping me draft this too, and I'm like most of him were these picks. I think I had more input on these last ones, but yeah, no. Nah. It was definitely me and him going like, what should we pick? We should get this. Yeah, sure, cool. Wasn't that deep? Uh, but yeah, so Pharaoh Seed makes that whole had the sacking way easier and rounds everything all out. So with the next pick, we got Jolteon here, which helps with my speed tier because now I have Mian Xiao, uh Jolteon, and um, oh I know that's it right now. So you have Min Xiao and Jolteon that are above uh, 100 base speed now. So it helps me with my speed tiers, and obviously Jolteon's great with volt turning and obviously just hitting hard. Not having hidden power obviously limits its move pool because now there's real no hyper like ice offensive move it could use for ground types but uh we'll work around that obviously it's something that we'll just have to naturally deal with but jolteon's jolteon i mean everyone knows jolteon jolteon's sick it's fast it's gotta go face you know so the next pick we go out cream which great uh fairy to get late <coughs> game imo uh it has great setup uh it's great move pool with, like mystical fire for steel types um, it also gets, uh, what's a, which ability am I thinking about? Let me pull up, uh, good old showdown. Cause I don't remember showdown. Cause I don't remember, uh, I think it's the first ability that, uh, I'm, I, I believe I'm trying to reference. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Sweet veil, uh, which makes it immune to, uh, well, both abilities are really good actually. Uh, Sweet Veil, which will give me like a sleep powder immunity or like against mods that are like super off, you know, super defensive like that. Um, and then Aroma Veil protects it from like attract, disable, encore, heal, block, taunt. So if I can't get taunted and I need a setup or like something like that, that's really good that I can't fall for those things. So it allows Ocreen to be in these better positions to actually like be offensive and like really do some damage. So I thought that was a really good pick to get. Um, late game because like even though good fairies are great mods like there's a reason why Clefable is like Clefable and you know in certain mods like Sylveon is is good at draft and um, Gardevoir and whatnot but like I think Alcremie is a very good um, bang for your buck fairy type like a better Grand Bull not in the way you play them but usually people get Grand Bull because it's like super late in the draft i'm like ah oh, fuck like when you could get grambled like oh, i don't really got a fairy type um i guess grambled intimidates decent it's like so i always felt all those people really like Gramble. maybe i'm just hating i don't know but anyways with the last pick uh which is i think another good value pick uh we got my boy show lurk shofu go lurk um <laughs> my boy shofu built like go lurk that boy eight feet 12 i don't even know how tall he is um but uh, yeah, so we have Golurk here, uh, does another stealth rock, has drain punch, it's a ghost type, so it's good for the ghost offensive. Also, it's a ground type, which uh, I didn't have already, so it's good to have, uh, like, ground stab and stuff. So, and it's just like, you know, we know what Golurk does, He boy hits hard, pretty pretty thick, like, decently defensive, and uh, got a great move pool. Great move pool. So, yeah, it's just its speed, it's its only downside, but like, it's... It's fast enough, I guess. If it was like a base 70 speed. <laughs> for, go for goodness sake. If it was a base 70 speed, that would be just fast enough to fuck with shit. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, show your support. Smash the like button. It's would be greatly appreciated. Like I said, this is my WBE draft. Like I said, on paper, it sounds weird, but it's like a dark. Like it works. I don't know. Like I'm actually pretty confident in this draft. Um, 
But yes, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Maybe if I'm missing any overblaring like issues, feel free to put that in the comment section and talk about it. Like I obviously want to learn what you guys can see because the more eyes, the better that I battle, please. Um, so yeah, you guys are great. Appreciate all the love and support. Smash the like button. Uh, merch, if you want to buy some, uh, some Sin City Scissors merch to support during the season six, I'd appreciate it. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to get the fuck out of you guys. My Patty Trill's mouth. Oh, you go.